At the Dahlia Academy boarding school, students are split into two factions, the White Cats and the Black Dogs. The first year White Cats are led by Juliet Persia, and the Black Dogs first years are led by Romeo Inuzuka. Violent fights between the factions are common. Inuzuka and Persia have been rivals since childhood, but Inuzuka fell in love with Persia and has been secretly keeping her safe in every fight. Persia is angry that Inuzuka never fights her seriously. Inuzuka sees older white cats bullying younger black dogs, who are then protected by Persia. Inuzuka almost confesses his love but quickly runs away instead. Three black dogs kidnap Persia to molest her. Inuzuka quickly saves her and the black dogs angrily leave. Persia then runs away crying. The three black dogs try to attack Inuzuka for stealing Persia from them, so he beats them up. Persia sends Inuzuka a message to meet for a duel. Inuzuka lies and claims he saved her out of pity, which makes her cry and Inuzuka realizes she hates appearing weak. Inuzuka realizes he had unwittingly been undermining her goal of making the world better. As they duel, Inuzuka finally confesses and asks to help change the world. Persia responds by pushing him into the fountain, but agrees to date him as long as he helps change the world and keeps their relationship secret. Inuzuka tries to sneak Persia away, but they are interrupted by Hasuki Komai, his second in command and must pretend they are fighting. Inuzuka tries to give Persia a rosary as a love token, but is caught by Scott Hold, Persia's second in command, who pushes him off a building. Upon awakening, Hasuki informs him the dogs are attacking Persia. While looking for Persia, he accidentally breaks the rosary and uses a statue to beat both the cats and the dogs. As punishment, he is forced to pick weeds around the school's lake. Persia accepts the broken rosary and gives him her personal rosary in return. Inuzuka tries to refuse as her rosary has sentimental value, upsetting Persia enough to drop him in the lake. Inuzuka asks Persia on a date, so she disguises herself as a male black dog, causing Hasuki to suspect Inuzuka is homosexual. Many black dogs try to be her friend, so Inuzuka claims that she is Julio, his cousin. A silver-haired white cat recognizes Persia despite the disguise. Inuzuka takes Persia to a haunted house, which scares her into running away. Inuzuka is pushed into the ocean by Chizuru Maru, one of the black dogs who tried to molest Persia. Persia beats Maru in a fight and rescues Inuzuka. Inuzuka is happy Persia considers their date a success because they learned more about one another, though they are again interrupted by Scott and resume fake fighting. The silver-haired white cat realizes Inuzuka and Persia are dating. Inuzuka asks Persia on a date for their one-month anniversary. White cat princess Char, the tyrant princess of the West, is returning after a year's absence. Inuzuka almost hits her after she provokes him until she reveals she has photographs, proving he is dating Persia and blackmails him into becoming her servant. Inuzuka agrees, knowing that if their relationship is revealed, Persia will lose her leadership of the cats. Maru plans to punish Inuzuka for his betrayal. Persia becomes jealous of Inuzuka spending time with Char. Inuzuka refuses to reveal the blackmail to Persia but assures her he is keeping her safe. Persia, unused to seeing Inuzuka so downtrodden, reminds him that they still have their anniversary date. Inuzuka becomes determined to defeat Char. Inuzuka is thrown out of the Black Dog's dormitory by Maru's gang. Inuzuka discovers Char is Persia's childhood friend and is sharing a room with Persia. Inuzuka searches the room and finds Char's Persia collection behind a mirror, revealing Char is in love with Persia. Char is desperate to keep her feelings secret from Persia, who suddenly arrives in the room. Inuzuka hides the photographs and himself behind the mirror until Persia leaves. As Inuzuka now has material to blackmail Char, they form an uneasy truce. Inuzuka rushes to their date and sees Persia had his broken rosary repaired and is wearing it. As midterm exams approach, the dogs begin a 72-hour study session with Persia disguised as Julio. Maru is revealed to have a crush on Julio after Julio defeats him to save Inuzuka, not knowing Julio is Persia in disguise. The session is led by Hasuki, who has the best grades. Inuzuka helps Persia sneak out, but is caught by Hasuki, who worries he is keeping secrets. Char warns him of the risk Hasuki poses. Inuzuka insists Hasuki is his best friend, and would keep his secret if she found out. Maru asks Hasuki why she likes Inuzuka, and she reveals that Inuzuka helped her make friends. Inuzuka overhears, so she confesses she loves him. Realizing he cannot lie to her, he reveals he is dating Persia. Hasuki overreacts, tries to force him to commit suicide, then tries to behead him while she flees. Persia follows them into the woods, where Hasuki almost kills her, but is stopped by Char, who admits she knew Persia was dating Inuzuka. Inuzuka feels worthless as he cannot even be honest with his best friend. Persia assures him that he is just as strong as the day he confessed to her. Inuzuka allows Hasuki to attack him, claiming he will never stop being her friend, surviving only because her sword was a replica. 
Persia falls into the river, so Inazuka jumps after her. Inazuka, who cannot swim, is saved by Hasuki while Char saves Persia. Hasuki claims that she still hates him, but decides that they are still friends, though she will behead him if he flirts with Persia in front of her. Inazuka asks Persia to make a bento, not knowing she is a terrible cook. Char, who has never tried Persia's cooking, steals it but accidentally drops it on Scott, who believes Persia made the bento for him. Inazuka defeats Scott, but loses the bento, which is eaten by pigs. Char drags Scott away for further torment. Persia admits a kitchen maid actually made the bento. Inazuka assures her she doesn't have to act perfectly when they are alone. Persia swears to one day make a perfect bento. Char amuses herself with her new victim, Scott. Maru warns Inazuka to quit the sports festival since the dogs once lost to the cats when Inazuka made a mistake during the 100 meter race. Hasuki hears a rumor that anyone who dances with the festival's MVP will become their lover and decides to win MVP and dance with Inazuka. Scott plans to win MVP and dance with Persia. Inazuka is stopped from hitting him by Somali Longhaired, a white cat with superhuman strength. Her friend and crush, Abyssinia, asks Persia to become his girlfriend, if he wins the MVP. This causes a fight until Persia intervenes. Persia asks Inazuka for help practicing for the three-legged race so she can win MVP and increase her popularity, though really she was helping Inazuka get over his defeat in the previous festival. They decide that if either of them wins MVP, the loser must obey one order from the winner. Inazuka becomes highly motivated and enters the 100 meter race again. Inazuka decides he will order Persia to call him by his first name, Romeo. During the first half of the festival, through rampant cheating, the dogs and cats score equal points. Persia tells Inazuka her mother is watching them from the audience, and Inazuka is surprised that she wants him to meet her mother someday. Somali injures Persia on Abby's orders, and during the next race against Hasuki, the injury causes Persia to trip. Abby and his allies blame Persia for being a weak girl. The audience ridicules Persia as she's forced to leave for treatment. Inazuka is furious that he couldn't help Persia when she needed him, and is further enraged when Char explains Abby is trying to steal Persia's leadership of the cats and decides to destroy Abby in the final event, the cavalry battle. The dogs begin losing due to Abby having drugged most of them. Maru initially refuses to cooperate as Inazuka's horse for the event, until Persia arrives disguised as Julio, which inspires Maru, and they eliminate all white cats except for Abby and Somali. Inuzuka calls out Abby for his underhanded tactics. Somali attacks Maru but is stopped by Inuzuka who finds proof that the Somali spiked shoes injured Persia, so he throws Abby into the audience, defeating him. Before the referee declares the dogs the winner, Inazuka demands Persia fight him as well or he could never claim to have beaten all the white cats. Persia, happy that Inazuka is treating her as an equal, returns to fight him. Persia and Inazuka battle for victory and the crowd begin cheering for Persia again. The cats are declared victors with Persia winning MVP. Inazuka is replaced as the dog's leader by Hasuki. Later at the party, Persia sneaks away and asks Inazuka to dance with her. A month later, the student council discussed the issues raised during the festival, and decided to monitor Inazuka. Meanwhile, Inazuka, who has not seen Persia for a whole month, develops a fever from the stress of losing his position. So Persia sneaks in to see him disguised as Julio. She is waylaid by Maru, who begins asking her awkward questions. She runs away but stumbles into the female baths, where she is mistaken for a pervert. She makes it back to Inazuka's room to change her wet clothes, but when Igo Kohisuji, one of Maru's delinquents, tries to retrieve a porn magazine he left in Inazuka's room, Persia hides in Inazuka's bed while still half-naked, making his fever worse. He eventually recovers and Persia admits she was unaware he had a fever when she first arrived. The real reason she snuck in was that she missed him as much as he missed her. The Harvest Festival is approaching, and twin black dog prefects Kocho and Teria are in charge of discipline. Inazuka invites Persia and she agrees but refuses to dress as Julio in case Maru spots her. Inazuka meets Kocho and Teria, who reveal they almost heard him talking to Persia. They search Inazuka's room to find Persia's rosary. They conclude the rosary has a secret meaning and decide to find out what. At the festival, Persia and Inazuka meet up but are forced to hide from the twins. Inazuka witnesses the twins subduing two violent students and challenges them to beat him at the festival games. After he loses, he promises they can challenge him again whenever they want, as he realized the twins wanted to attend the festival but had no friends to go with. They happily agree to challenge him again one day. Inazuka rushes back to Persia but he is too late to watch the fireworks with her, though Persia is happy she saw his softer side while he was playing with the twins. 
the twins wonder how much trouble Inazuka might cause if he becomes a prefect at the next elections. It is revealed a high-ranking member of the student council is Inazuka's older brother, Airu Inazuka. Persia asks Char for a favor for her birthday. Inazuka plans to buy Persia a present and tricks the twins into giving him permission to go shopping. He bumps into Char, but a police officer warns them radicals from Towa, Inazuka's home country, are nearby, and demands Char return to school. So Char forces Inazuka to be her bodyguard. The twins discuss Inazuka's rosary, and are overheard by Inazuka's brother, Airu. Char tries to manipulate Inazuka into breaking up with Persia, so he scolds her. Char recalls the only other person who ever scolded her was Persia. She is accosted by radicals who assume Inazuka, a fellow Towan, will help them. But he saves Char instead, since Persia would cry if Char were hurt. Char admits she was jealous as Persia's favor was for Char to help her spend her birthday with Inazuka. Inazuka asks Persia what present she wants and asks for a matching couple of accessories. Char believes Persia and Inazuka are destined to break up and worry about what to do when it happens, then torment Scott to cheer herself up. Inazuka returns to his room and finds Hasuki there, along with the twins and his brother. Airu confronts Inazuka with the rosary and warns him that if Inazuka is in contact with a white cat girl, he will expel and then disinherit him. He then personally supervises Inazuka for seven days. Inazuka reveals to the twins that Airu used to beat him when they were children. Persia finally makes perfect cookies for Inazuka, but becomes worried that he is always with his brother and more downtrodden than ever. Airu forces Inazuka to resume kendo training and beats him mercilessly. Inazuka reveals to Hasuki that he was tricking Airu into lowering his guard so he can see Persia on her birthday. Persia confronts Hasuki and demands to know what's wrong with Inazuka. Inazuka sneaks out but is caught by Airu. He tries to stand up to him but is knocked unconscious and locked in a shed. However, Inazuka had known Airu would lock him in the shed and have convinced the twins to defy Airu by opening the shed once Airu left. Inazuka rushes to Persia but collapses from his injuries. However, Persia makes it in time and catches him. She tearfully apologizes for everything that has happened to him because of their relationship. The cats are on guard against Inazuka, as his yearly tradition is to crash Persia's birthday party and throw a cream pie in her face. As a side note, I'm pretty sure he was trying to convey what he actually wanted to do. Persia starts avoiding Inazuka so he won't be hurt again, causing him to become depressed. Persia tells Char everything that happened and now she cannot bring herself to be near Inazuka. Char gives Inazuka the cookies Persia made. After eating them, Inazuka can taste the effort Persia put into them and decides to keep up his tradition for Persia's birthday. Persia goes to White Cat members of the student council for advice, but before she can ask, Inazuka and the Black Dogs invade the party with pies. Inazuka is caught by Somali and Abby. Before Abby can get revenge, Inazuka escapes and is helped to avoid detection by White Cat Kate Sith. He decides to help Inazuka for making life in the school interesting and reveals he put Persia in the fourth floor storeroom. They are caught by Anne Cyber, student council secretary, and with his identity, as perfectly revealed, Kate Sith tells Inazuka it is now his job to stop him from reaching Persia. Meanwhile, Persia tries to escape by climbing out the fourth floor window. Inazuka jumps out of the window, having realized Persia was on the balcony, and she catches him. Inazuka finally wishes Persia a happy birthday, and Persia admits she loves him. Airu arrives, but before he can locate Inazuka, he and Persia pierce each other in the face and declare their fight a draw. However, Airu publicly confronts Inazuka with Persia's rosary and other evidence and accuses them of being lovers. Persia quickly accuses Inazuka of trying to make a fool of her and challenges him to a duel with real swords. Airu still does not believe them, so Inazuka and Persia decide they must actually wound each other to stay together and stab each other in the chest. Later, it is revealed they actually stabbed each other in the rosaries they were both wearing, destroying them. With the school now convinced they're enemies, Inazuka secretly gives Persia matching rings and declares that before changing the world, he will change the school by becoming perfect. The school returns to normal. Airu, despite still being suspicious, allows Inazuka to become a student council errand boy as his first step on the road towards becoming perfect. On their next secret date while wearing their matching rings, Persia and Inazuka decide that one day when they have nothing to fear, they will call each other by their first names, Romeo and Juliet. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos just like this, so I'll see you in the next one.